Our next speaker is Diana Solaropolis, uh, Reblazing Stars in the Mississippi Alluvial Plain of Arkansas. Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you two competing stories about this blazing star that I found on a unsurveyed 80 acre tract of private land surrounded mostly by agriculture in the Mississippi Alluvial Plain or Delta region of Eastern Arkansas. This region is underexplored botanically and for my first dissertation chapter, it's consisting of a flora of an 1100 acre natural area and this small private tract that's adjacent to it. So it's about 1200 acres total. In 36 site visits, I have documented 575 species and 189 county records, which represents a 30% increase in the taxa known from this county from a survey of just 0.27% of the county area. In June 2018, I collected and keyed this specimen to Liatris hirsuta, which would be a county record and an eastern range extension. In September, I met with one of the state botanists and Theo Witzel, and he tentatively confirmed the ID from this picture and mentioned it hadn't been seen in the Mississippi Alluvial Plain for 100 years. So then I started digging into Symbiota, and I had found two previous records from the Mississippi Alluvial Plain. One from a county to the southwest in 1955, so just 65 years ago, and one from the county directly to the west in 1932. Both of these specimens were collected from the Grand Prairie, which is an incredibly rich ecosystem with very few remnants remaining and that is west of a big watershed between my site and, and this area. So my specimen came from a calcareous saline barren and post oak flatwoods matrix, which leads to our second working hypothesis that this may actually be a new species to science. So when I actually got to take the specimen to Theo Witzel, the state botanist, he kind of put his hand on his hip and tilted his head and squinted at it. He's like, yeah, actually, it doesn't really look like Laetris or Suda. It's similar, but maybe it's this thing that we found in these calcareous prairies, the Blackland Prairies of Southwest Arkansas, and we think it might be different and undescribed. So um, Arkansas Natural Heritage Commission has a working relationship with Ed Schilling to do genetics work on some of these specimens. So. I sent him two samples of the sliatris that I had collected, and as of the end of April, he had responded that we ran both the samples that I sent with somewhat unremarkable results. So as of the, uh, the sliatris were identical to each other, and the results were consistent with an identification of sliatris hirsuta, but there are several other species that are identical for this ITS marker that we used. So it's not totally definitive. So there's another group in North Carolina who's been developing additional markers for Laetris, which I guess has historically been very difficult to work with genetically. And as of this time, I am very excitedly awaiting hearing from them to see if I'll be able to describe a new species as part of my dissertation. And at the very least, we know that there's still lots of cool discoveries to be made in the Delta region, which has not really been explored botanically. Thank you.